All right, we're standing here at display number two in Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta, Canada. Um, and in this display, it's a recreated display, but it shows what it would be like to be um, at a dig site and what's going on. So as we look through um, this fossil site, we can take a peek and look in here. Uh, but we can see this is a place where there are a lot of bones. Um, the bones are disarticulated, which means they're not connected. They're not in life position. And there's a whole bunch, a big jumble of bones. So this is a recreation of the Centrosaurus quarry bone bed. Um, and when we take a look inside of this, some cool things, you can see the tools. It is a recreation, but it gives you an idea of what we do. There's a big grid that's set over the top of the bones. That location would be where the paleontologists, before they take any bones away, they're going to set the grid down and they're going to draw and record where every single bone was. And then as they're taken away, they're numbered. So if they want to go back as they're doing the research in the lab, they can say, oh, this is bone number, you know, 243. And it came from this location and sometimes how they're set up within the original material will help them figure out what happened to these dinosaurs. In this case, most of the bones, I think 95% of these bones were centri um, your um, centrosaurus. So these were your big frilled um, dinosaurs um, and they were found in a place where when we look at the sediment, the material, we always make those observations. These were dinosaurs that were found um, associated with river deposits. So it's thought that this big herd of organisms, the bones are uh, from different animals of different ages and sizes, were crossing as a herd, probably got caught in floodwaters, panicked, couldn't get out, and they died. And then their bones uh, or their bodies were moved downstream. They do find a lot of Albertosaurus teeth and some marks on the bones, which suggest that the Albertosaurus likely came upon these dead carcasses later on and scavenged the bones and their teeth fall out um, over time for a lot of these car um, carnivores and then got left behind. Um, so that's just one example of a nice uh, display that we can see here. And again, if we take a look um, in the background, you can see kind of an idea of what it might have been looking like when these dinosaur bones had accumulated. Um, and the really big takeaway is you can see here what it would be like on the site. We don't just start picking the bones up, but we're going to spend time looking at each bone, making a lot of measurements, recording the data of where they were before they were extracted and then taken to um, the laboratory for study.